Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to automatically extrude um, rectangles inside 3ds Max using a, a script without having to manually draw um, a box or manually draw a 3d extrusion um, and I and you know this is really useful for say city planners or urban designers or architects who want to say who is, let's just say have a, a street a city block street and with a series of um, um, properties in along those streets and they want to automatically um, you know uh, create some extrusions in along that street but they don't want to manually draw the buildings in so one what I mean is conventionally um, you know to draw a, I guess if you're a box or a building um, or you know a box that represents a building you'd have to go into the standard primitives draw the box and then manually you know and then obviously extrude it you know and you keep drawing these until you're satisfied um, but sometimes that can be a bit laborious because you know some of the widths and lengths of each one of these blocks may not be to your satisfaction um, the heights may not be to your satisfaction and there might be a lot of buildings that you have to um, draw so that can get quite tedious um, instead what this script that I've discovered online that I'd like to share with everyone is basically let's just say if you have a series of rectangles let's just say these are the the floor plates of buildings um, instead of actually having instead of um, auto extruding them or applying an extrude modifier what you can do is you can highlight each one of these um, these squares and click auto extrude and you can see here um, say so as you can see as I'm doing these auto extrude you can see that not all of these buildings or boxes are being extruded to um, the uh, you know to, to, to the to the same height which might be really useful if you wanted to try and create a skyline with a you know with a city skyline with a bit of diversity in, in them um, you know the great thing about this script as well is you can set minimum heights and maximum heights and in which you know you want your buildings to get extruded towards um, it is my first time using scripting and um, and I have found this script online and taught myself how to um, code and and incorporate this into 3ds max so i might have developed some bad habits but i obviously welcome any feedback in terms of how best to do this in a more efficient efficient way so um without further ado um i might just get rid of this and i'll just show you how it how it's done um don't want to save that and i'll get rid of this uh, this button just to show everyone how it's done from scratch so the first thing that we need to do is go to scripting and open up our script editor. Oh, yeah. Now you can see, you can see that I've already preloaded some scripts into um, into, into into Max, um, and that was because I was um, playing around with it before I started this video. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. Um, I'm just going to go file and create a new script. Um, I'm going, and then I'm going to um, basically cut and cut and paste this the script um, into um, this window here. I'm just for everyone's ease. I might I'll, I will pop this in the um, the description link uh, script, description box in the YouTube video below, just so that enables everyone to copy and paste it easier without having to retype it. Um, my understanding of this, what this code actually says, is that the first line asks us to convert whatever we've selected into a a poly mesh object, which makes the, the um, which makes the 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 selected object editable. The min e value is the minimum amount of units that we want a, an extrusion to go to. The maximum e value is the maximum um, unit that we want our extrusions to go to. And the fourth line of code basically says, um, my from what I understand is that the for for the selected face do a, an extrude um, command and extrude that um, face to a random value between the minimum and the maximum. So that's my understanding of the coding, but again, I always welcome feedback in, in this regard. So once the script has been, um, uh, has, once the code has been put into the script, um, please save it. I might just um, save it on um, my desktop, just call it um, temp script 
one auto extrude and I'll click save and then what you want to then do is um, is to ideally create a new toolbar so that you can just have it have your um, your extrude in a nice and neat um, toolbar separately um, so that you can access at all times so in order to do that let's just go to customize and click customize user interface toolbars and let's create a new toolbar and let's just call this new toolbar auto extrusion tools and we'll click OK and then as soon as you click OK this little box comes up here this signifies that you've created a new toolbar um, and what you can then do is basically highlight this entire code drag click and hold and drag and drop it inside the little box itself now you'll know that you've done that successfully if this little I guess command window prompt look like um, pops up um, so once you've done that just make sure you um, uh, don't need to say it so that's all saved um, exit out of your um, your script editor and just have this toolbar to one side for a second now let's test it by going to let's test this uh, the um, this script button by going to create and let's just create a rectangle for now just as a, a simple shape rectangle and let's select it and let's run the script and voila it's worked so again if I keep repeating this rectangle if I draw multiple ones um, you can begin to see that extruding a number of rectangles becomes really really easy and the great thing as well is especially if you're creating a city you've got that bit of diversity in city skyline which you know we often see um, you know in any metropolis so um, that's basically it um, one thing you might wish to do is just make this button look a bit more nicer uh, uh, which you can instead of having an ugly command looking box you can actually change this to look differently so if you want to you can right click on this um, on the box here and click um, edit button appearance um, what I might do is I'm, I'm just going to give it a text button and I'm going to call it auto extrude and I'll click OK and you can see right now it becomes a lot more nicer in terms of the button that's created um, before I finish up I just also wanted to show you um, another application of this auto extrude so um, say for example um, you've got a city block or a city street with a number of properties um, that line the street so a cadaster that I've prepared earlier um, um, uh, is uh, is just this one here is out of AutoCAD is just this that um that I'll I'll also leave a link in the description box for you to download it is in DXF file um oh, sorry DWG file um, I'll need to import it into um, um um Max which is what I've just done um nothing to be of interest in here that's all okay so that needs to be entity I'm going to rescale the incoming file units that's all okay and I'll just click OK. So you can see that I've um, imported in just a small city block um, which has a number of properties along um, that face onto a main street. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going and I want let's just say I want to create a future context or a future um, scenario of how this street could develop in the future and I'm going to use this auto extrude button. So I'm just going to select one of the properties and voila you can see you can begin to see how um, you know how you can fairly quickly um, extrude um, I might just act while I'm doing this I might just activate the edge faces just so that you can see the difference in buildings but you can begin to see how quickly we can you know um, build up a city skyline um, just by a few clicks now as I mentioned before I've, I've taught myself how to I guess create uh, this 
or use coding in, in 3ds Max, um, noting that I wasn't the original creator of this script, um, so uh, script code I should say. So unfortunately I haven't been able to figure out a way to say select multiple properties and hit auto extrude, it just comes up with this error. Um, and I obviously I welcome um, any feedback um, in terms of how I can do this, but uh, look, I mean for what it's worth, at least you know we can you know we can quickly model up a a, a street fairly quickly um, you know with a with a um, you know with, without having to manually draw these boxes itself um, um, and yeah so you can see now it's all extruded it's a <laughs> it's a fairly dense street to say the least but um, you know you you get the picture in terms of you know being able to um, automatically extrude these boxes fairly quickly. And that's it. Thanks everyone.